Listen up, you donkey. The tomato, this little red gem, has a history as rich and fiery as a good chili pepper. It all began in the sun-drenched lands of ancient Mexico. The Aztecs, those culinary wizards, were the first to cultivate tomatoes. They called it tomatal, meaning the swelling fruit. They weren't just a pretty sight. Tomatoes were a cornerstone of Aztec cuisine. They were tossed into spicy stews, ground into flavorful sauces, and even enjoyed raw with a sprinkle of chili. Imagine the vibrant markets, bursting with these plump, juicy fruits. The Aztecs knew their stuff, and the tomato was a star ingredient. These ancient cooks weren't just about flavor, they understood the power of the tomato. They used it in medicines and rituals. This humble fruit was woven into the fabric of their lives. It wasn't just food, it was a symbol of life, fertility, and abundance. They were onto something special, these Aztecs. Now, picture this. The 16th century, the age of exploration. Spanish conquistadors, led by Cortes, landed in Mexico. They were after gold, glory, and maybe a decent meal. They stumbled upon the tomato, this exotic fruit with a vibrant color. Intrigued by its appearance, they brought it back to Europe, a new treasure from a new world. This wasn't just a culinary exchange, it was a collision of worlds. The tomato, a symbol of Aztec culture, was about to embark on a new adventure. Little did they know this humble fruit would change the culinary landscape of Europe forever. It's a story of cultural fusion, of how flavors travel and evolve. The journey wasn't easy. Tomatoes, fragile travelers, had to endure long sea voyages. They braved the rolling waves and scorching sun. Many didn't make it, but those that did were about to make history. They were the pioneers, the first ambassadors of the tomato in Europe. And what an impact they would have. Now, here's where things get interesting. Europeans, bless their souls, weren't exactly thrilled with the tomato. They looked at it with suspicion. What is this strange fruit, they wondered. They were used to their turnips and cabbages. The tomato, with its bright red hue, was an alien in their kitchens. Some even thought it was poisonous. They called it the poison apple, believing it to be a deadly nightshade relative. It didn't help that the wealthy used pewter plates and the tomato's acidity reacted with the metal making people sick. Bad news travels fast, and the tomato got a bad rap. But here's the thing about humans. We're curious creatures. While some shunned the tomato, others saw potential. They started experimenting, tentatively at first. They planted it in their gardens, admiring its vibrant flowers. Slowly, cautiously, the tomato began to infiltrate European gardens and kitchens. Leave it to the Italians, those culinary geniuses, to recognize the tomato's true potential. They weren't afraid of a little color, a little zest. They embraced the tomato's vibrant flavor, its versatility. They saw beyond the rumors and discovered a culinary treasure. Think about it, pizza, pasta, caprese salad, Italian cuisine wouldn't be the same without the tomato. It became the heart and soul of their dishes, adding depth, sweetness, and a touch of acidity. They transformed the tomato from a suspected poison to a culinary star. That's what I call vision. The Italians weren't just about using tomatoes, they celebrated them. Festivals sprung up, dedicated to this glorious fruit. People gathered to feast on tomato-based dishes to sing its praises. The tomato, once an outsider, became a beloved member of the Italian culinary family. Talk about a culinary revolution. Section five, Spanish flair. Tomatoes take root in Spanish gastronomy. The Spanish, those masters of flavor, weren't far behind. They remembered the tomato from their escapades in the New World. They knew this fruit had something special, a fiery passion that matched their own. They weren't afraid to experiment to push the boundaries of flavor. Think gazpacho, that chilled tomato soup, a refreshing burst of flavor on a scorching summer day. Or pan con tomate, toasted bread rubbed with garlic and juicy tomatoes, simple yet utterly divine. The Spanish embraced the tomato's versatility, incorporating it into their tapas, stews, and sauces. They weren't shy about adding a generous dose of garlic, olive oil, and paprika to create a symphony of flavors. They even created a festival, La Tomatina, a massive tomato fight where people pelt each other with ripe tomatoes. It's a celebration of abundance, a testament to the tomato's cultural significance. Talk about a food fight with a difference. Section six, global domination, the tomato's culinary ascent. 
From those humble beginnings in Aztec fields, the tomato embarked on a global culinary conquest. It wasn't an overnight success. It took centuries of experimentation, adaptation, and a whole lot of passion. But the tomato, with its vibrant flavor and versatility, won over hearts and stomachs worldwide. Think about it. From the spicy salsas of Mexico to the tangy ketchup of America, the tomato has become a universal ingredient. It transcends borders, cultures, and cuisines. It's a testament to the power of food to connect people, to share traditions and flavors. It's not just chefs who embrace the tomato. Home cooks around the world made it their own. They planted it in their gardens, experimented with recipes, and passed down their love of tomatoes through generations. The tomato became a symbol of home cooking, of family meals, and shared culinary traditions. It's a reminder that the best food is often the simplest, the most comforting. Section seven, a culinary chameleon, the tomato's versatility. Now let's talk about the tomato's secret weapon, its versatility. This little red gem can be transformed in countless ways. It can be sweet, savory, tangy, spicy, you name it, the tomato can handle it. It's a blank canvas for culinary creativity, a playground for chefs and home cooks alike. You can slice it, dice it, roast it, stew it, blend it. The possibilities are endless. It can be the star of the show, like in a classic caprese salad, or a supporting player, adding depth and complexity to sauces and stews. It can be enjoyed raw, bursting with fresh flavor, or cooked down into a rich concentrated sauce. And let's not forget about its preserving power. Tomatoes can be transformed into jams, chutneys, and sauces that can be enjoyed year round. They capture the essence of summer, a taste of sunshine that can brighten up even the darkest winter day. Talk about a culinary chameleon. Section eight, beyond the plate tomatoes in culture and art. The tomato's influence extends beyond the kitchen. It's become a cultural icon, a symbol of passion, abundance, and even controversy. Artists have been captivated by its vibrant color, its voluptuous form. It's appeared in paintings, sculptures, and even films. Think Andy Warhol's iconic Campbell's soup cans, a celebration of everyday objects, including the humble tomato soup can, or the countless still life paintings that feature tomatoes, their redness glowing against a dark background. The tomato has become a muse for artists, inspiring creativity and challenging perceptions. It's even become a symbol of protest. Remember the Spanish festival La Tomatina, where people engage in a massive tomato fight. Some see it as a playful celebration of abundance, while others view it as a form of rebellion, a way to challenge authority and social norms. Let's go back to where it all began, Mexico. The tomato, a native son, continues to play a starring role in Mexican cuisine. It's the backbone of salsas, those fiery concoctions that add a kick to every dish. It's simmered into mole sauces, complex blends of spices and chilies that are the hallmark of Mexican gastronomy. Think about chilaquiles, a breakfast dish of fried tortillas simmered in salsa, topped with cheese and a fried egg. Or huevos rancheros, eggs cooked on a bed of tortillas, drenched in a spicy tomato sauce. The tomato is the heart and soul of Mexican cooking, adding depth, richness, and a touch of fire to every bite. It's not just about traditional dishes. Mexican chefs are constantly innovating, pushing the boundaries of tomato-based cuisine. They're creating new salsas, experimenting with different tomato varieties, and fusing Mexican flavors with global influences. The tomato, a symbol of Mexican heritage, continues to inspire culinary creativity and cultural pride. The tomato isn't just delicious, it's also packed with nutrients. It's a good source of vitamin C, A, and K, as well as potassium and folate. It's also rich in lycopene, a powerful antioxidant that's been linked to a reduced risk of heart disease and certain cancers. Eating tomatoes can boost your immune system, improve your heart health, and even protect your skin from sun damage. They're a low calorie, nutrient rich food that can be enjoyed as part of a healthy diet. So go ahead, indulge in that extra slice of tomato. Your body will thank you for it. But here's the thing, the way you prepare tomatoes can affect their nutritional value. Cooking tomatoes, especially with a bit of healthy fat like olive oil, can actually increase the bioavailability of lycopene. So don't be afraid to get creative in the kitchen and experiment with different cooking methods. Now, more than ever, it's crucial to think about the environmental impact of our food choices. The good news is that tomatoes can be grown sustainably, supporting both our health and the planet. Farmers are adopting innovative techniques to conserve water, 
reduce pesticide use, and promote biodiversity. They're using drip irrigation to deliver water directly to the roots, reducing water waste. They're planting cover crops to enrich the soil and prevent erosion. They're even experimenting with biological pest control methods, using natural predators to keep pests at bay. You can do your part by supporting local farmers markets and choosing tomatoes that are grown sustainably. Look for labels like organic and fair trade, which indicate that the tomatoes were grown with respect for the environment and the people who grow them. From Aztec fields to European feasts, the tomato has come a long way. It's a testament to the power of food to connect cultures, to inspire creativity, and to nourish our bodies and souls. It's a culinary chameleon, a nutritional powerhouse, and a symbol of sustainable agriculture. So next time you bite into a juicy tomato, take a moment to appreciate its rich history and its enduring legacy. Remember the Aztec farmers who first cultivated it, the European chefs who embraced it, and the countless people around the world who have made it their own. The tomato is more than just a fruit. It's a story of cultural exchange, culinary innovation, and the enduring power of flavor. It's a timeless treasure that deserves to be celebrated. Now go on, get cooking, and let the tomato inspire your next culinary masterpiece.